video is designed to give you some insight into the S block elements of the periodic table. We would like to introduce this as a supplement to the study material of inorganic chemistry course CHU2123. Except hydrogen, all the other group 1 elements are metals. There are vast differences between hydrogen and other metals. Study it separately. In industry, hydrogen gas is made by the reaction of steam with a natural gas such as methane. Carbon monoxide also generates hydrogen with steam at a lower temperature. In the laboratory, hydrogen is made by the reaction of metals such as zinc or magnesium with acids. Here we use zinc dust. dilute hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen gas can be identified by holding a test tube of hydrogen opposite to a lighted splint. The gas burns with a squeaky pop. Hydrogen burns in air or oxygen to give water. Under certain conditions, it reacts explosively with halogens. In the presence of finely divided nickel, platinum or palladium, hydrogen can reduce the carbon-carbon double bonds and triple bonds in organic compounds to give alkanes. There are three classes of hydrides. Ionic hydrides or salt like hydrides, covalent hydrides and metallic or interstitial hydrides. Here we concentrate on hydrides of the typical elements. Ignoring hydrides of D block and F block elements which are known as the interstitial hydrides. This type of hydride is only formed with sufficiently electropositive elements such as group 1 and group 2 metals. These metal atoms can force hydrogen atom to accept an electron forming hydride ion. These hydrides are used as reducing agents. They are also used to produce other important hydrides such as lithium aluminium hydride and sodium borohydride. These have important uses as reducing agents in organic chemistry. Here, hydrogen is showing its tendency to acquire the stable electronic configuration of helium by electron sharing. They are formed by the elements in the groups 4, 5, 6 and 7 in the periodic table. There are compounds which fall between ionic and covalent hydrides. Typical examples are beryllium hydride and aluminium hydride. Beryllium hydride has a polymeric structure. Each beryllium is surrounded tetrahedrally by four hydrogens. And each hydrogen atom reaches two beryllium atoms. The simplest boron hydride is B2H6. It has a structure similar to beryllium hydride. The major industrial use is in the synthesis of ammonia by the Haber process. The other uses are manufacture of hydrochloric acid, manufacture of organic chemicals such as methanol and manufacture of margarine. Liquid hydrogen is used as a rocket fuel. Hydrogen can be used to extract some metals 
from dioxide. Group 1 metals are called the alkali metals. All are soft and silvery in color. Cesium has a golden yellow cast. Because of their large ionic radii, these have low densities and are soft. The metals are very reactive and readily form M plus ions with the noble gas configuration. Let us study some chemical reactions of sodium. Sodium is a soft metal. It rapidly tarnishes in air, losing its silvery appearance. That is because sodium reacts with oxygen and moisture and form oxide and hydroxide respectively. Sodium reacts with water, liberating hydrogen and forming its hydroxide. The chemistry of alkali metals is dominated by their low first ionization energies. As you go down the group, the first ionization energy decreases. As a result, the chemical reactivity increases. For an example, lithium reacts gently with water. Sodium and potassium reacts with increasing vigor. And rubidium and cesium react with exceptional violence. In all these cases, an alkali solution and hydrogen are produced. Lithium and sodium are extracted by electrolysis of their fused chloride. Potassium is made by the reaction of sodium vapor with molten potassium chloride at 850 centigrade. Rubidium and cesium are made by the reduction of their chlorides with calcium metal at 800 centigrade. Not only the group 1 metals but also most of the S-block metals can be identified by the flame test. Take few drops of concentrated hydrochloric acid on a watch glass. Heat one end of a platinum or nichrome wire till it becomes red hot and dip this end into the acid. Again heat the wire and likewise clean the wire until there is no noticeable color when it is in the flame. Take similar quantity of the acid to an another watch glass and place a small portion of the sodium salt. Moisten the clean end of the wire with acid. Touch it against the sample. Then heat it in the edge of the flame and finally in the hottest part. Now you can see the yellow color of the flame of sodium. Potassium gives the lilac or violet color in the flame test. If you view it through a cobalt glass, you may see the purple color. Then, we can do the confirmatory test for each cation. For an example, let us do the confirmatory test for potassium. To a solution of potassium ions, add sodium cobalt nitrite. acetic acid. A yellow crystalline precipitate is formed. Group 2 elements or the alkaline earth metals. When the metals are pure, they are silvery in appearance. Now we will study some reactions of magnesium as a representative element of the group 2. Magnesium is very reactive, but less reactive than the alkali metals. Thus, 
unlike sodium, magnesium does not tarnish rapidly in air. But magnesium burns rapidly in air. When you go down the group, reactivity increases. Beryllium does not react even with steam. Magnesium reacts very slowly with cold water. With hot water, magnesium reacts with a moderate speed. and magnesium burns with steam, giving oxides. Calcium, strontium and barium decompose water with increase in vigor. From an industrial point of view, magnesium is the most important metal. Magnesium can be extracted from seawater as follows. Magnesium hydroxide is precipitated by mixing calcium hydroxide solution with seawater. This precipitate is filtered off. And dissolved in hydrochloric acid. The evaporation of the resulting solution gives magnesium chloride crystals. Then magnesium chloride is fused. And the molten magnesium chloride is electrolyzed. Molten magnesium is liberated at the cathode. Similarly, all the other members of the group 2 elements can be made by the electrolysis of their molten chlorides. Identification of magnesium To a solution of magnesium ions, add a little ammonium chloride. And 1 or 2 ml of ammonical 8-hydroxyquinoline. Heat the mixture for the boiling point. A yellow precipitate of the biskelet is formed. Calcium, strontium and barium can be identified by the flame test. Calcium gives a brick red color. Strontium gives a crimson red color and barium gives the apple green color. Furthermore, to calcium solution and ammonium oxalate solution. A white precipitate which is insoluble in acetic acid confirms the presence of calcium. To test for barium, add potassium dichromate to a solution of barium. Then you may see a yellow precipitate, which is insoluble in dilute acetic acid. In conclusion, we have discussed the properties and reactions of S-block elements. We also carried out laboratory tests to identify some group 1 and group 2 elements. We hope you have enjoyed the chemistry of S-block elements.